the image with display with the buttons right here by now you can see all of those products are imported by Oberly. it is very easy yo what's up everybody hey Tim is here and welcome to a new brand video i'll be showing you today how to get approved on google adsense using shopify before we begin if you want to see more videos like this be sure to smash the like button down below or without being said let's get started for fresh content subscribe press the bell icon to never miss an update from geekblogging.com first i want to apologize for this long break i took on youtube it was out of my hand uh, because of my college exams but now that i'm back i promise i, pr I promise you uh, to upload more often just remember to leave a like and subscribe and second i want to thank you for the 5000 subscribers i am so thankful and it gives me motivation to continue and provide you with more useful tutorials now i made this tutorial uh, previously and it was about five tips to get google adsense approved in less than 24 hours well today's video is a bit different I will help you to build the website from the scratch and till you can uh, tell you apply to Google Adsense and get approved. So uh, stay tuned and follow each step carefully. I don't want you to miss any detail. So first go to Shopify slash partners. You will find all the links in the description box and click join now. Here fill in all the boxes with the right information choose here whatever you want uh, then uh, here select uh, whatever option you want wordpress and click on i have agree and view your dashboard now uh, go back to your email and uh, confirm your registration so here we are our business email has been confirmed uh, first create a new store go to store right here click on add store uh, you better choose a development store give your store a name and uh, in this option make sure to choose test an app or theme and click on save sit uh, wait them wait for them to create your store it will just take a few seconds or maybe one minute now here we are facing the dashboard of our new store First of all, uh, I would like you to click on this one, online store, then go to preferences. Yeah, and go and disactivate this option. This option, when you enable the password, it, re it restricts access to your online store. So only customers with the password can access it. Here in Shopify partners that we are using on the tutorial, it is free to disactivate it. But if you are using the regular uh, Shopify you will have to pay a certain amount um, uh, monthly in order to disactivate the, and then click on save now we will uh, begin setting up our uh, store it will take a f uh, it is a long process so I advise you so I will only show you the important points first uh, and if you want my, my advice you should search for the best Shopify stores. You can just type it on Google and uh, select uh, one, uh, anyone you, you would like and start copying their themes and the way the, their website are structured. So you don't have to, uh, so it, don't, it doesn't take a lot of effort. Like for me personally, I copied this uh, website uh, this website design it ranks between the 10 top 10 stores on Shopify so as you can see the design is simple and it ends right here so we'll go back to our store and uh, first of all create uh, cut uh, uh, collections Click on create collection, go to products, then collection and click on create. This video is going to be a little bit longer, but it is uh, useful. 
So here just copy the collections from the websites you choose to copy like here power and go on until you uh, enter all the collections then uh, go back to then go to pages that you will find on your online store click on your online store and click on pages and add the pages the the important pages like contact as privacy policy terms of use and uh, and refund policy just copy this from this file that you will find on the description box and paste it make sure to change the name of the website just uh, search for this uh, uh, census and, to, uh, and uh, change it with the name of your website and click on here on the refund policy save now for contact as page it is simple just go here on template suffix and uh, select patch contact and click on save so do the steps with all the other pages you will find other documents on the description box now we will go to themes then we are uh, uh, working with the bot, the bot theme you can explore other free themes or even buy a new one suggest suggested from Shopify. I advise you to work simply with the the, the default one. Click on uh, click on customize. Uh, now you will start customizing our website. First of all, go to header, change the uh, logo right here. If you don't have logo yet. You can go to my blog, blog post that I, my blog post that I posted on my blog. It is about Design Evo, which gives you the ability to design pro logo, brand mark, or fabricant for free in only under one minute. I advise you to check it out. It is a useful blog post. Then uh, you can also uh, modify the this bar right here. Uh, then to, uh, also uh, select an uh, image right here just copy from the store you've chosen and go ahead this is the features collection this product we won't add this product so for this one I, I am choosing an extension called Oberlo it is very useful it will save you a lot of times uh, when it comes to adding products when you go to their website oberlu.com click on get oberlu now for me i'm just gonna log in with my account and uh, in order to uh, add products first you have to go to select products yeah and uh, i forgot you have to first link to your uh, link this extension to your uh, shopify it is very simple you will find us on the dashboard right here when you log in for the first time just it is right here create or connect your shopify store just click on it and uh, uh fill uh connect your store it will it will be done automatically then click on search products products search whatever products you want to like for me i'm going to go with bags once there are uh, done click on the one you you want to sorry i'm just put the 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 mouse on it and click on add to import list for this one too click on this add to import list and go on till you are set, uh, full just choose about five uh, products in each category and go to import list as you can see select the two products and click on import all to store yes it will go to the uh, to the old uh, store that i've i've worked and prepared so when they are there just go to products let's go to products and then classify them in each collection you've created so also you will find this image with text that you can add 
and uh, let's say if you want to remove this one just click on it go scroll down and click remove section and if you want to add another section like in this store proper they are using this one so it is Im image with text overlay no not this one let me scroll down a bit six columns with you ah yo say it so it is this one just click on add and start customizing it with adding photos and uh, changing the text and everything now before moving to the next step i would like to mention guys that my paypal account is down below on the description so if any one of you would like to support me uh any amounts are appreciated thank you now going back to our tutorial just click on leave you have to save each time you are modifying your store the step right now is to give uh, or buy a new domain for your online store as you can see your domain is uh, on this form geek tutorial and that's my shopify.com so you want it to be geek tutorial.com in order to do that you have to buy uh, a domain from a domain provider I advise you to go with go daddy because it's because it is the best in the industry so uh if you would like to buy your domain from godaddy please use my referral link that you will find in the description box it will help me a lot when you do so when you, when you do buy your domain uh from godaddy right here uh go and cl uh, cl uh click uh, on connect existing domain and type it right here and follow all the steps it is very easy just uh, read and follow them now i'm going to take you to the uh, store that i have prepared now here is my uh, store geek test uh, 12 here is my logo uh, here in the nav bar in the navigation bar you can see all the collection that i have i have added and they are copied from proper uh, here it is the, the text the image with display with the buttons right here by now you can see all of those products are imported by Oberly. it is very easy uh, here a slideshow that has the, the, I've used this image from their database so it didn't take me a long time and here uh, a section that I have added from another, another store so this are uh, this isn't from Instagram this is are just uploaded uh, pictures so you don't have to really create an account for your website just do whatever you want and here are the quick links contact as privacy policy refund policy and terms of service so uh, this is it, guys uh, I am sorry for um, for the tutorial being that long so just bear with it and follow each step I've tried the maximum to be short and simple uh, and here it is if you don't understand anything just leave it in the comments if you want any clarifications um, right here just send me a message or leave leave it in the comments down below if you want me to continue providing you with the best tutorials in a weekly basics Show me your love and support by clicking the like button, subscribe with notifications on and share this with your friends and leave some support comments.